Are you trying to choose between Yastugo and Cabote Gravier for long-acting prep, but you're not sure which is best for your needs? You're not alone. With more options becoming available, it can be confusing to figure out what's right for you. But stick around. Because in this video, I'll walk you through the differences, similarities, side effects, and costs of both medications. And by the end, you'll have a clear idea which one fits your lifestyle best. In the past, HIV prevention meant taking a pill every single day. And let's face it, that's not realistic for everyone. But now, with long-acting injectable prep options like Yastugo and Cabotegravir, HIV prevention is becoming simpler and more effective than ever. In today's video, we'll break down how these two medications work, what sets them apart, and how to get started, including lab testing and provider access in the USA. What is Yastugo? Let's start with Yastugo, the newer player in the prep game. Approved by the FDA in 2025, Yastugo contains lanacapavir, a drug that works differently from older HIV meds. This injectable prep is administered once every six months. Yes, you heard that right. Just twice a year. Yastugo works by blocking HIV at a very early stage in its life cycle. Once in your system, it forms a long-lasting barrier that helps prevent the virus from replicating. It's a great option for people who don't want to think about HIV prevention every month or every day. Side effects are generally mild, but may include injection site pain, nausea, or fatigue. Always talk to a healthcare provider before starting. What is Cabotegravir? Now, let's talk about Cabotegravir, sold under the brand name Apritude. It was approved a bit earlier, in late 2021, and has been widely used across the U.S. for long-acting prep. Cabotegravir is administered once every two months and works by blocking an enzyme HIV needs to multiply. It's highly effective. Studies show it can reduce HIV risk by over 90%. While that means more injections per year compared to Yastugo, many users feel comfortable with the established safety record. Common side effects include soreness at the injection site, headache, and sometimes fever or dizziness. But most people tolerate it well. Comparison, Yastugo versus Cabotegravir. So how do these two options stack up against each other? Efficacy. Both are extremely effective. When used correctly, each provides robust protection against HIV. There's no clear winner here, but Cabotegravir has more long-term data available as of now. Frequency and convenience. This is a major difference. Cabotegravir requires six injections per year. Yes, Tugo only needs two. That's a big plus for people with busy lives or injection fatigue. Administration Cabotegravir is given via intramuscular injection every two months at a clinic. Yes, Tugo, on the other hand, is also administered by a healthcare professional, but only twice a year. That convenience is hard to beat. Side effects. Both have manageable side effects, mostly at the injection site. Some people report more soreness with cabotegravir. Yastugo's side effects may vary depending on body type and drug interactions. Drug resistance and interactions. Yastugo's newer mechanism may have slightly different resistance patterns. If you're taking other medications, especially antivirals, talk with your provider about possible interactions, access and cost. Here's the tricky part. Cabotegravir is more widely available and often covered by insurance or assistance programs like Ready, Set, Prep. Yastugo is newer, so availability may vary depending on your state or provider. Insurance coverage is improving, but you may need to advocate for access. Who should choose which? So which one's best for you? If you're looking for the lowest maintenance option, Yastugo might be your winner, especially if you have a busy lifestyle or trouble keeping up with appointments. But if you prefer a well-studied medication with a solid track record, Cabotic Revere is a great choice. Let's break it down by lifestyle. College students with packed schedules? Yastugo might be easier. Healthcare workers who want established clinical data? Cabotec Revere is a solid option. Those afraid of needles? Both are injections. But fewer with Yastugo. Ultimately, your healthcare provider will guide you, but you should be informed and confident going into that conversation. Lab testing and starting prep. Before you start either medication, you need to get tested. That includes an HIV RNA test to make sure you're negative, and usually STI screening and kidney wall liver function tests. These tests help ensure that you're a good candidate for prep and that you start safely. If you're wondering where to go for testing, don't worry. You can book fast, affordable, and confidential HIV testing with over 4,500 HIV testing labs across the USA. Visit HIVRNATestGuide.com to schedule your test online today. It's one of the easiest ways to take control of your health and begin the journey toward long-term HIV prevention. Let's recap. 
Yes2Go equal fewer injections, newer drug, possibly more convenient cabotegravir equals more established, slightly more frequent dosing. Both are highly effective and safe for HIV prevention. No matter which you choose, what matters most is that you do something. PrIP is a powerful tool in ending HIV, and the best choice is the one that fits you. If this video helped you understand your PrEP options better, give it a like and drop a comment below with your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe for more clear, honest information about HIV testing, prevention, and treatment. And if you're ready to take the first step and ready to take control of your health, start by getting tested. Visit HIVRNATestGuide.com for quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing with over 4,500 testing labs across the United States. You deserve peace of mind and the right treatment.